No veteran should ever pass without the proper honors. That is the underlying principle of a program that began 39 years ago. In June of 1979, a small group of World War II veterans started the Fort Snelling Memorial Rifle Squad. Monday through Friday, regardless of the weather, the volunteers serve as a final graveside salute. As Bill Hudson shows us, today's Friday squad marked a huge milestone. Present harm. Seems hard to believe, but before 1979, few veterans got this graveside honor. We like to say that we take care of our own. Former Marine George Weiss and a few others decided that wasn't right. Well, I was taught in the Marine Corps, if you saw something that you didn't like, change it for the better. And that's what we did. What they made better is now 130 members strong. Fort Snelling's Memorial Rifle Squad will serve any burial, Fire! large or small, Fire! in all kinds of weather. Present harm! The squads are named after each day of the week. Every veteran out here doing this feels it in his heart. Mike Pluta's dad was a founding member. Now he commands Friday Squad. Humbled, proud, and honored. Uh, to give the last farewell to this veteran. And after 39 years of presenting flags and 21 gun salutes, comes a huge milestone. I present you this flag. World War II Navy vet Ray Anderson would be the squad's 75,000th service. It wrenches my heart um, to this day listening to taps. To honor that dedication, they'd get a cake and governor's proclamation. Hereby proclaim Friday, June 1st, as Memorial Rifle Squad at Fort Snelling National Cemetery Day. 75,000 is a lot for sure, but one no more important than the other. Says George, every vet deserves the same honor and service for the service they gave to us. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. The Memorial Rifle Squad averages 17 burial services a day. It's a model now being duplicated at national cemeteries all around the country.